Fox 6 exclusive. U.S. Senator Ron Johnson calling on the city of Milwaukee to shut down the Hop Streetcar, and he's taking action in Washington that could eliminate a $68 million payback for doing so. Senator Johnson tells Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson he's looking out for taxpayers, but a spokesman for Mayor Tom Barrett is calling it disingenuous. Milwaukee's downtown streetcar is struggling to regain ridership in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Last month, the hop averaged 671 riders per day. That's one third of the ridership for the same month in 2019. Nobody's paying to ride. What, what, what's the ridership going to be when people actually have to pay a fare? Now, U.S. Senator Ron Johnson is calling on Milwaukee to shut the system down. It is ridiculous. It needs to end now. Last fall, some Milwaukee Common Council members called for a temporary suspension of the streetcar at the peak of the pandemic, but Public Works Commissioner Jeff Polinski objected. There are inherent costs to just shutting down. He and others at DPW warned that doing so could require the city to pay back a $68 million federal grant. Aren't we legally obligated by the FTA to operate this thing for its useful life? Yes. So that's 25 years? Yes, or more. And we're obligated to come up with the money to run it for 25 years? Or pay them back the, uh, the grant. This week, Senator Johnson introduced an amendment to a $78 billion transit funding bill. The amendment would allow cities like Milwaukee to uninstall federally funded transit projects without having to pay back the grants. What I sure don't want to see is another 25 years worth of uh, three or four million dollars per year operating deficits. That would just be throwing good money after bad. A spokesman for Mayor Barrett says the senator is promulgating a false narrative about Milwaukee's streetcar and that his concern for transit financing is disingenuous. Prior to the pandemic, he says ridership exceeded expectations and contributed to significant development along the route. He calls the current ridership struggles a minor loss in momentum. This was a boondoggle to begin with. It's a boondoggle at the end of it. Johnson says talk of expanding the system would only increase the burden on local taxpayers for years to come. Recognize the mistake that was made and close it up. Mayor Barrett says he's actually hoping to secure new federal funding to expand the hop into neighborhoods north and south of downtown. And the city's looking forward to launching the new lakefront line sometime in 2022. That's mostly constructed already, but has been held up by delays in the Couture high rise. In Milwaukee, Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators.